My podcast has generated over $175,000 in sales in 2021. Here's what I'm doing to double that number this year. This year, 100% of listeners found my podcast through organic channels only. Here's how I'm going to improve this this year. I'm going to cut more 30-second clips I can share on social media, such as Instagram, LinkedIn, and Facebook. Plus, I'm going to use these uh, 30-second clips to uh, segment my audience. When I run ads through Facebook for my clients, I use video heavily because running video ads is a super effective way to segment your audience as you can exclude or include some people that might be interested for uh, your services or your products. For example, someone that will watch one of my clips for 30 seconds, I can assume they are in the market for, for something I offer or they can be interested by what I'm talking about in the podcast episode. Number two, invite guests on the podcast. So there's no better way to grow your podcast or your audience by tapping into other people's audience. So every time you'll film or create a podcast episode with a guest, uh, they'll share it with their network. So you will get more exposure in a free and simple way every single time. So it's fair to say that if every single guest you have on your show shares their episodes with your their, their network, you're going to have a faster growth over time. There's one thing I, uh, I'd i like to say about this, okay? So I, I, I've ran my own podcast on my own. I've co-hosted one. And also, I've had a few guests on mine. Um, th- there's one um, thing I should say about having guests over your podcast is that uh, you, you'll have to manage uh, someone else's schedules as well. They might have a hiccup. They might uh, reschedule. You might have to reschedule as well. So it's a little bit more complicated on that end. Plus, you got to manage their expectations in terms of the delivery time. So let's say you record a podcast today. Um, they'll expect you to uh, get that podcast out a- as soon as possible. But if it happens at um, that, um, maybe you're, you'll be ready in a couple of weeks or a couple of months even for several, for several reasons. Uh, this this will create uh, friction uh, with your your potential guests. So keep that in mind. Three indexing the shows uh, on more platforms. So the the most platforms you can use to reach your target o- audience, the better it is. Okay. So for me, I'm using Buzzsprout. So this way I can upload my content once and then syndicate it in, um, I have it on Audible, I have it on Spotify, Google Podcasts, um, Apple Podcasts as well. You got uh, Switcher, um, yeah, Switcher, Radio, you know, a bunch of other services and streaming services, you can reach more audience. Obviously the top two are uh, Spotify and Apple, but once the content is done, uh, you better have it on as many platforms as possible. If it's not like harder for you, it's not costing you more more money. Final step and number four, um, you got to automate everything. I use a tool called Sendable to automate all my social media postings. So let's say I'll upload a video on YouTube and then uh, every 90 days or 120 days, uh, the link will be posted again on my social media channels. Okay, so automating the content over several um, social media channels is really effective because you have to create a content once and then you can push it to your audience every 90 to 120 days. I use this frequency because you don't want to be too aggressive and push the same message or same video every week, you know. But at the same time, if there's new people coming into your audience and channels, you got to reach them with your the, the content you created already since... You know, they were not there the first time. You want to show them that content again if you think it's great and it's useful for your audience. So if you would like me to share more growth tips with you, uh, hit the plus button right here and let me know in the comments what you'd like to know. So before you go, this is your chance to join my Slack channel where I share exclusive content and insights to grow your own business online. It's also a place where I am available to answer all your questions about your business. Join the discussion at autobahndigital.co slash slack.